Today, here on the blog and the YouTube channel, I am going to talk to you about my actual blog workflow process. My last video, I talked about why every single business needs a blog and why your business can benefit from having a blog. But a lot of the questions I get are, how do I actually like make the process? How do I keep it all organized? How do I know what to do? Especially if I want to have a video and or a content upgrade and you know, this and that and that the other. So I wanted to share with you my exact blog workflow process. So that's what we're going to dive into right now. So essentially I do have a team now. I'm not going to lie. I have a team of people who help me get my blog posts out each week so that I can consistently do this. But for a very long time, I was swinging solo. So I was still creating weekly content with a video, a content upgrade, and a blog post. So I promise that it is doable, even if it feels kind of hard at first. So my process goes a little something like this. Number one, I come up with my topic. <laughs> so that one sounds really easy, but a lot of you struggle with what you're supposed to be blogging about. So pull your audience, come up with your topics, and find a way to you know, come up with a bank of topics you want to talk about. So number one, I come up with my topics. Number two, I record the videos. I actually record all of my videos in bulk. So I will spend one day each month recording all my videos for that month. And sometimes they even get further ahead. So I'll sit down and I'll record my videos. I'll record anything that needs to be face to face like this and record my screencast shots. And then number three, I edit my videos. Again, I batch process this. So I'll take one whole day and edit all the videos that I just filmed. This can be time consuming. I get it, but that's why I do it in bulk. I do all of my videos in one day and all of my editing in a different day so that it's not so daunting and the rest of the month everything kind of flies on autopilot. So after I've edited, I will upload to YouTube and I will plug it into YouTube with the correct tags and keywords and thumbnails and all of that and I will schedule each of my videos to go live on the date the blog post will go live. Then from there, I write the blog post. I actually go in and, you know, say, hey, like this is what I talked about. I outline any steps I talked about. So on this one, you'll see one, two, three, four, five of what I do in my blog workflow process. Okay, so anyway, I go in, I create the actual verbiage and text for the blog post. Then I create the content upgrade or pull from my library of content upgrades I've already created. So for me, I do kind of get a little crazy and use a different content upgrade for almost every blog post, unless it's relevant for me to use an old one. But you don't have to do this. You can use the same one on every blog post. You can use the same one for every month or however you want to do that. But for me, I go in and I create the content upgrade. So let's back up just a little bit. Let me recap what we've got so far. I picked my topic. I recorded my video, I edited my video, I wrote the blog post to go with it, and now I am creating the content upgrade to go along with it. From there, it is literally just a matter of putting into WordPress, scheduling, and getting the content upgrade hooked to the blog post. So that looks something like, you know, scheduling everything in WordPress, going into ConvertKit, creating a form, and hooking it back to that blog post. So that's essentially all I do. I pick my topic, I film, I edit, I write, I make the content upgrade, and then I schedule everything and get it all hooked together. Now, your process may look completely different if you're not using video. It, you don't have to use video to make a blog post. It's just something that I incorporate into my brand and works really well for me. I do think it's a good thing if you use video and you use YouTube to increase your SEO and things like that, but Again, not necessary. So your blog process could look quite a bit different than mine. It could be longer, it could be shorter, What just whatever works for your business. Now, if you want a copy of the Trello board I use to outline my entire blog workflow process or a PDF version, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, click below and head over to the blog post to grab it. If you're already on the blog post, just grab it here. So I'm essentially giving you my exact workflow process. 
And I'm going to take about 30 seconds and show you the whole process as I have it outlined in the same Trello board you're going to get and show you how I keep everything organized and how I work with my team now to get this all done. In Trello, I have a blog process list where I list out what I do, what my team does, and I copy that to every single card when I move it through the queue. I also have a YouTube process, so uploading, scheduling, adding to site, so if I need to reference that, I can. Now here, I actually have a spreadsheet where we can go in and add the link from each post so that if I see someone needing my post, I can come in here and grab the link really quick and reference it to them in you know, a Facebook group or anywhere where they're asking for something. I have this bank, which is my ideas for blog posts. I can come into this bank and when I decide to go ahead and write the post, I can convert it to a card and move it over here in this queue. Once they're in the queue, I'm ready to record them and I schedule them and tell the system when I want them to go live. Once I record, I move them over to video complete for Rachel. Now you don't have to have a team. This can literally just be a video complete column. I check off the things that I have done and now it's ready for Rachel to dictate. And I put in notes for Brittany for the process after it leaves Rachel's hands where she takes it from video to text. Once that's done, Rachel moves it over to this column and Brittany takes it from there. So she takes the written content from Rachel, the video content from me, and she does all of the rest of this stuff. So creates an image, um, puts it in WordPress, schedules the pop-up, etc. Once that's done, she moves it into the published and scheduled. And that way we can see it all in the calendar and we know what's going live and where we might have holes or where we stopped with the blog queue. All right guys, so that is literally it. That's all I do to keep everything organized. It keeps everything in one place. It helps me work with my team. It works amazingly well and you guys are welcome to copy it by downloading that. Trello board or PDF with the button inside the blog post. Now, while you're here, don't forget to hit subscribe because you do not want to miss other nerdy biz tips with me. Until next time, bye y'all.